Hi, hello, mabuhay! So today, we are going to discuss about combined variation. At the end of this video, you are going to learn what is the combined variation and how to solve it. Before we jump to the topic, let's define first what is a variation. In mathematics, variation is a change in the value of a function due to small changes in the values of its argument or arguments. There are four different types of variation. The first one is direct, the second one is inverse, the third one is joint, and the last one is combined or mixed variation. But for now, we're going to focus on combined variation. What is combined variation? Combined variation describes a situation where a variable depends on two or more other variables. It is stated as y varies directly as x and varies inversely as z, where k is the constant of variation. In mathematical equation, it is stated as y is equal to kx over z. For further explanation, we will give you some examples. Example number one. If y varies directly as x and inversely as z, and y is equal to 24 when x is equal to 48 and z is equal to 4, find x when y is equal to 44 and z is equal to 6. So here are the steps required for solving combined variation problems. Step number 1. Write the correct equation. In this case, we will combine the direct and inverse variation equations. So it will be y is equal to kx over z. Step number 2. Use the information given in the problem to find the value of k. In this case, you need to find k when x is equal to 48, y is equal to 24, and z is equal to 4. So the equation now is going to be 24 is equal to k multiplied by 48 all over 4. Next, we are going to eliminate the denominator, which is 4, by simplifying k multiplied by 48 all over 4. Now, we have 24 is equal to 12k. Let's eliminate 12 to get the answer by dividing both sides by 12. Step number 3. Rewrite the equation from step 1, substituting in the value of k found in step 2. The new equation now is going to be y is equal to 2x all over z. Step number 4. Use the equation found in step 3 and the remaining information given in the problem to answer the question as, in this case, you need to find x when y is equal to 44 and z is equal to 6. Now, we have the equation 44 is equal to 2x all over 6. Let's eliminate the denominator, which is 6, by simplifying 2x all over 6. We have now the answer 44 is equal to x all over 3. Lastly, we are going to eliminate the denominator, which is 3, to get the answer. In this case, we are going to multiply both sides by 3. Let's cancel 3 on the left side while we are going to multiply 44 by 3 on the other side. And from that, we got 132 is equal to x. So this means that x is equal to 132 when y is equal to 44 and z is equal to 6. Example number 2. If f varies directly as g and inversely as the square of h and f is equal to 20 when g is equal to 50 and h is equal to 5, find f when g is equal to 18 and h is equal to 6. We will just go to repeat all the steps we made a while ago to get the answer again. Step number 1, write the correct equation. So from y is equal to kx over z, 
the equation now is going to be f is equal to kg all over h squared. Step number two, substitute all the information given to the problem to have a new equation. Now we have 20 is equal to k multiplied by 50 all over 5 squared. Now we are just going to simplify the equation to get the constant of proportionality. The answer is going to be 10 is equal to k. Step number 3. Rewrite the equation from step number 1 by substituting the value of k found in step number 2. We have now the equation f is equal to 10g all over h squared. Step number 4. Use the equation found in step number 3 and the remaining information given in the problem to answer the question asked. In this case, we need to find f when g is equal to 18 and h is equal to 6. Now, the equation is going to be f is equal to 10 multiplied by 18 all over 6 squared. Simplify the equation. After simplifying the equation, we now got f is equal to 5. This only means f is equal to 5 when g is equal to 18 and h is equal to 6. And for our last example, example number 3. If y varies directly with x and inversely with z, and y is equal to 12 when x is equal to 100 and z is equal to 25, find y when x is equal to 36 and z is equal to 12. Step number 1. Write the equation. We have the equation y is equal to kx all over z. Step number 2. We write the equation by substituting the information given to the problem to get the constant of variation. Now, we have the equation 12 is equal to k multiplied by 100 all over 25. Simplify this to get the constant of variation. Now, we have 3 as the constant of variation. Step number 3, we write the equation with the constant of proportionality that we got earlier. We have now y is equal to 3x all over z. And for the last step, we write the equation again by substituting all the remaining information given to the question. Simplify this to get the answer. Now that we simplified it, we got y is equal to 9. So that's all for the video and thank you for watching.